couldn't really finish the conversation. I, that, you know, we started explaining it, and then we started getting into which criteria for, you know, did it meet on the hand pass. I just, I, you know, I noticed that the handshake was pretty much over, so I'm like, look, I, I got to shake hands here. There's nothing I can do to change it. So um, he was, you know, the, they they looked at the different, you know, was the net, dis you know, all the normal things you look for, but the one they were really looking at was, was it a hand pass? So that's what... Um, and he started explaining it, like I said, and then we, we ran out of time. So. Have, you, have you had the chance to look at it yet? No. No. No, I haven't. What was it like for those six, seven, eight, five, ten just to kind of sit through that? Yeah. Uh, you know, I've been there before. I mean, we had a 15 minute one uh, at the garden one year. We're playing BU, and you know, it was I think, a full 15 minutes. And, uh, so, you know, we've been there and just waited out. You know, there's enough evidence to be conclusive that you know one of those plays where usually whatever they call on the ice is going to stand because if it's not conclusive, so the call on the ice was a goal. So uh, you know they would have had to find conclusive. That's kind of what Jeff said. Well, so good. Yeah, it was a hard fought game. You know, obviously we're proud of our guys. Uh, you know how they battled and fought against a you know, really good team. You know, and, uh, you know, real happy for Norm. Obviously, and his staff, they did a great job. You know, their team played, played real well. But we, uh, we're proud of our guys. We, we've, and more importantly than, than tonight is, uh, you know, the, uh, how far we've come this year. Uh, we don't even resemble the team we were at the start of the year. Martin Lillette and Devin Shore. Coach, following uh, Diamond's dismissal, what? Changes did you make, if any, to the uh, to the lineups to combat that? Yeah, we, we for a while there we doubled Beatty up there, and then we uh, we doubled Merchant up uh, in the third. Uh, Beatty in the second, Merchant in the third, and just juggled some lines. You know, tried uh, had some different combos. It was fresh, and depending on if it was power play or PK, we we shuffled. Uh, we put Hutz on the, on the first unit in place of Joe, and kind of juggled some positions. And, and it was fine. Um, you know, we've been down that road before this season with all the injuries and, and guys that have, uh, have missed time. So uh, I thought the guys didn't need to miss a beat. And, but they, uh, they adjusted well. Any questions for the guys? Yeah, my friend, on the breakaway with uh, Scott Wilson, the one that you know, made a nice robbery, um, what was uh, going through your mind when you saw him get uh, stride? And I, I knew he was a good player. Mm -hmm. So uh, I actually thought he was going to go up. The other side, he kind of surprised me, but uh, I was able to club it, and uh, yeah, it was a it was a good save and gave us all momentum. And being that was a tremendous save. Did you did you think that he was gonna switch it up and try and go backhand on you instead of uh, when you shot? When you I wasn't sure. I don't. I, I don't really know him at well as a player, so I uh, you know I, I try to um, be patient and uh, let him uh, make the first move and. Uh, but I did so. How old are you? The tie-in goal, you immediately went over and, and talked to, to officials. What were you, what were you saying now? Um, I mean, uh, my, my bad was right on the post. And I made the first save, and the, they kind of just jammed it. And uh, my bad kind of backed up in the net with the puck. So, um, yeah, I was just trying to, uh, you know, tell them that uh, there's not much I could have done because they pushed me in the net. But, uh, so, one of your best games of the year. You had killed 60 minutes of penalties. Just you just seemed to be able, you know, I, I had you with 17 great A saves. I mean, really, you kept the team in it. You know, when you guys were had to kill penalties and stuff. Yeah, I think. Uh, well, first of all, the, the guys did a great job tonight um, in the PK. Cleared uh, the puck a lot. Um, did the rebounds, and I was able to just see the puck a lot better. Uh, tonight they, they were able to kind of move the guy in front of me, so so I was able to to see the puck. Um, and yeah, yeah, I was able to make the, some good stops to keep the, the team in the game, and the uh, guys played on the other in front of me. The game where you got taken out, Mark Mark never sort of took you was coming across, sort of took you out, and then Puck was just sitting there on the game winner. Uh, yeah, I made the first save, and then I'll have to. Watch it on the video. I don't really, really know what happened after where the rebound went, but uh, yeah, it was kind of uh, 
out in that at that point and I, I looked back and the, the buck was sitting there and the crease and the guy was able to just push it in so um not not too sure what happened after that first save. They talked about how mentally difficult it was for them. Did you get a sense that you were kind of even a little bit in the game? Um uh, I felt like today was more I felt more like the playoff game than yesterday. Um just kind of just the little stuff in the corners and um, we definitely have similar but but different type of styles of, of hockey, and we kind of um, tried. To, I guess we try to just sort of dull the game down. They're they're a run and gun kind of kind of team, and and so if, if that's what they were kind of meant by mentally difficult, and obviously in the, in the playoffs there's so much emotion, so it's mentally difficult for both teams. But uh, they they obviously uh, overcame that. Good for them. Kind of take us through your goal. Kevin and, and what um, was that? Yeah. The yeah, well, Steve Swaley uh, got kicked out of the face off, and, and Ryan Lommer came in. And he was, I think, I might have been the only, only two draws he took all year, and he, he won them perfectly <laughs> clean. So that was the second one, and then it was right in my tape, and just, I kind of brought it to the middle. And, and, and Steve Swaley was um, great at the net front all game, and, and it, it wasn't a hard shot, but it, it just got there and, and went it. Devin, can you talk about when uh, Diamond went out, just what you and your line need to do to kind of adjust on the clock? Yeah, yeah, that's tough when, 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 your, when your line mates goes out and, and uh, with looking back as like the way it worked out, it was, it was his last way to go it's tough. But yeah. um, at, at that point in the game, when you're, when you're in the game, you're not thinking about that and you just got to just worry about, about your game and the guys who are, who are still on the bench. And, and we, we trusted the coaches to do um, what, what they wanted to do with the line and with the lines. And, uh, and we were we were all in with what they did, and not not much changes. We just we just got to keep at it and, and uh, play hard. What was the feel of uh, I guess uh, confidence like after you scored the goal? That Marty's playing great. You guys get the goal. You're in the same position you are night ago. The frustrating man. You're up the goal. And just kind of take us through, you know, the, the general mindset of the team at that point. Yeah, it, it's always it's always nice to get the first goal in any game to, to get that one up for me, but. Uh, they're, I think, the sixth ranked in the country, so we were just trying to stick, stick to our game plan because odds are we probably weren't going to beat him one nothing. And it, it felt great to get for some, but just, uh, just kind of, kind of keep running. It's, it's too bad we had a power play late in that second. It would have been nice to get another one, but, uh, but we didn't. And, and I, I felt like the whole game we got, we got a ton of chances and and, uh, and kind of rode that momentum and, and we didn't back down. So, uh, but no, after, after the goal, it felt, it felt good. But there was a, there was a ton of game to be played left still. Mm -hmm. uh, what was, was, it, was the improvement in the penalty kill? You guys have had a lot of seven power play goals in the last 20 chances, but today you killed 16 minutes of penalties. Uh, the, the coaches made it, made a great adjustment. Um, uh, after the video last night, we let them get to the to the middle too much and. And uh, so, so they, they picked up on that and just told us to, to keep them out in the middle as much as we could. And a credit to, uh, to the, the players, uh, I think almost all of the forwards got some, some time to time and we all, we all bought in and, and tried to keep them out in the middle. And because uh, you have one less guy than them, so they're going to have something, but you don't want them to be in the middle. You were talking last night about how you had to stay out of the county box to get more penalties minutes tonight than last night. What? What happened? I mean, just it's the motions of what up game. Yeah, I mean, obviously Joey, you know, Joey had a tough night. You know, uh, you know, it's it's an emotional game. He's an emotional guy. You know, it's you know, you kind of live and die by the sword. You know, uh, you know, we wouldn't even be in the playoffs if it weren't for for Joey's play and all the big goals he scored and his leadership. So, you know. Yeah, he's part of our family, and you know we stuck with him. And you know I feel for him. He's, he's, you know the most he's the best of him tonight. And, uh, but uh, you know otherwise I thought our our discipline was excellent this weekend. You know, it's just uh, tough time for him, uh, but we love him, and uh, he's still part of our family, that's for sure. And, and like I said, we wouldn't have been in this situation without Joe. Any expression for the players, or you done Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Good for me. Or you? Yeah. It's really good. Like it looks like a musical. Yeah. 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 Y
bitter kind of analogy to have it over, but do you get some satisfaction out of, out of the, the improvement out of the, the, the way these guys do this year? Yeah, no, we, we, uh, we're very proud of them. Yeah, no, I, I think, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we, we had, we faced a lot of adversity this year, you know, on and off the ice. And I think uh, what we're most proud of this group is uh, they never quit on each other. And they kept fighting and, uh, you know, had it come easy, uh, I think we, we would have lost a lot of lessons. Um, you know, we would have missed out on some very important life lessons. and. Uh, certainly, uh, we learned a lot this year, and uh, I think most importantly was um, that when you're a family like this, and these guys go through so much, they really, they really are a family. And uh, for them to stick with each other for all, with all their faults, all of our faults, you know, uh, and to to improve as they did, genuinely improve to have the second best record in the league since Christmas, um, you know, uh, we're, we're very proud of them. You know, and it, it, it bodes very well for the future. Obviously, kids like Devin Shore and you know Ben Hutton, uh, and you know, I can go on. But uh, boy, they, they they came a long way since the start of the year. And, and again, it wasn't an easy ride. But when you have 100 and whatever we have now, 119 or 121 man games lost to injury, you know you, you've got to you've got to make a you know you got to adapt and you got to find ways. Uh, and guys played. You know, we had D that played forward. We had forward that played D. We had. You know, we went through every possible scenario, even within tonight's game, the same thing. So, uh, uh, again, the, the very resilient. Uh, their determination was uh, was exceptional, and and they really uh, they really played hard. With Joey, I know there was a long stretch last season where he ha hadn't been taking many penalties, and when he had really turned a corner. Was there something he reverted back to, or was there more frustration, or something that's maybe led to? Yeah, you know, it's hard to say. You know, if I had the answer to that, we, we wouldn't be <laughs> sitting here. You know, it's, a, it's as you know, human beings are pretty complex. You know, and uh, as I said, you know, we uh, as our as a fan, you know, it's like no different than someone maybe a, you know, someone in your family that you know you love them for uh, regardless. You know, and uh, obviously we've worked very very hard with him to make, he's come a long way. I know it didn't look like it tonight, <laughs> but, uh, but he has. And, um, and he'll bounce back from this. And, uh, and uh, you know, but again, it's, uh, you know, that's, that's what it's about. You, you know, you're in tough situations and you make mistakes, but now, now, now he needs to learn from it. And I'm sure he will. He's, he's a good man. He's a good man at heart. And, but uh, it was a tough night for him tonight.